Hey, today I'm gonna go try to catch a couple of rainbow trout. This thing right here has got me to where I am right now. I probably could have used a little bit more of it, but for now, let's go fishing. Well, it's time to do a little bit more fishing, and I'll show you a little picture of the lake with my uh, ash cam. Try to overlay some footage with that, if that works. If it doesn't, you won't see it. Anyway, I'm gonna try some of those gulp worms again. I'm gonna try it for trout. It's still a little early in Colorado for bass. I don't know, maybe not, but I'm gonna try for trout today anyway. The gulp worms did me good last trip. So um, I'm gonna try those on a jig head again today and we'll see what happens. I'll be recording this with my Ace Pro up on top of my hat with the uh, GoPro windsock on it. That worked out pretty good last time. So let's try it again. We'll see what happens. All right, I spooled my uh, reel up with some 10 pound spider wire. Using a little float, got a eight pound fluorocarbon leader, little jig head with a little gulp, a half of a gulp worm on there. And I don't know what this is going to do facing into the wind. I don't know if I can cast into the wind, but I'm going to try. Now, even into the wind, it didn't do too bad. I don't know what to, I think that little bit of chop in the water is going to give a little action to the uh, jig. See if that helps or hurts. There's one. First cast. Come on. I can I can live with that little trap. That might be a stalker. I don't know if they stocked this thing yet. Hang on, buddy, get you off. Alright. Let's try for number two. There's one. Whoop. I missed him. I got a little anxious. Somebody got anxious. Oh, I don't know what the wind's doing to me. I got the, I'm using the Ace Pro with a GoPro sock on it. Oh, there's another one. Or something. Huh. Oh, you know, oh, there he is. He came back after it. Yeah. Anyway, I'm using the Ace Pro with a GoPro wind sock on it. I've got it set on to wind reduction. That's a little better fish. Got it set on wind reduction to hopefully keep some of the wind noise down. Oh, come on, buddy, hang on. Hang on, I almost got you. See you later, buddy. Well, so much for my gulp worm. Half a gulp worm. A little jig head. I don't know what that is. 16th ounce, 32nd ounce. All right, let's go for number three. Well, nothing on cast number three. See what number four does for us. I can't count much past four, so anything after this one is just going to be a cast. There's one. Oop, I missed him too. Over anxious. Uh, he knew I was out of numbers. Huh. Maybe they don't like it with salad. Oh, the windy's up a little bit. There's one. Yep. He's coming this way or something. Yep. He's coming. Oh, another acrobat. All right, hang on. Another little rainbow, a little bit bigger than the last one. See you later, buddy. I know that's not very graceful, but it's uh, no good place to get close to the water. Now the wind changed directions on me a little bit. I'm gonna cast over this way. It looks like this is pretty shallow going this way. That might be a chunk of concrete. Oh, look, squirrel. Just kidding. There's one. Uh, 
Well, he's coming this way. Little bitty guy. <laughs> Wee. Come on. All right. That's a little fella. See you later, buddy. So this is what a whole worm looks like. I just pinch them in half. There's some kind of, uh, we'll call them sponge. But the trout seem to like them, so I'm not complaining. And Walmart sells more. Well, that worked once. Let's try again. See, so I hadn't got to four yet. We're doing good counting. That's two. All right, let's see what happens here. Here goes number three. I got one number left. There's one. <laughs> well, these are acrobats. Oh, get away from the concrete. Get away. Get away. All right. See you later, buddy. Uh, I've already lost count. What was that, three? Or, yeah, it must have been three. This is four, I think. Cast number four in my new spot. There's another one. Come on, buddy. He's just going to zigzag all the way back. That's good. Get it out. All right. See you later, buddy. All of their eyes look like they're looking down, so maybe they're feeding pretty close to the bottom. Now you see what I mean about this being a kind of a spongy material and gets tore up pretty quick. Come through from the other side. Alright. I think that was cast number four. I'm gonna pretend like that's number five. I think that's number five. I think. We'll see. I'm doing good today. You got all the way to five. There's another one. I'm past my counting limit, so I don't remember. I think that was the sixth cast and the work. Are you still there? There you are. All right. Yeah, I, they must have just stocked this or something. See you later, buddy. All of those are coming in about the same size. I got past my counting limit, so I'll come back over here. There's one. I'm good with the one through four. I go up. Just bring the float down a little bit. Just to keep me out of the salad. Easier to cast, also. There's one. Right there. I'm here. He's a little better than those other ones. A little bit. It's a little bit better. See you later, buddy. I had somebody ask me if I turn the handle to trip the bale. I do not. I flip it over manually. I have much better success doing that with line tangles and just works out better for me. There's one. And he's gonna jump up on shore. I can't even. All right, come on. Looks like another little stalker. I don't know. He ate my worm though. See you later, buddy. <laughs> he wasn't done jumping yet. Well, I never tried this before. I turned the worm around. <laughs> Get another use out of it. We'll see. <laughs> There's one. They seem to like the worm backwards, too.
Well, that's good to know. Where are you going? All right, he's up. He really liked the worm backwards because it's gone. All right, see you later, buddy. Wind can't decide what it wants to do. It's north and northwest, mostly. If you're not used to flipping the bale to lock that back in, it kind of gets to be habit. I don't even realize I'm doing it. And the other thing, you know, you if you're turning the reel, if it happens to be right at the trip mechanism, sometimes it wants to kind of lock and you got to try to turn it backwards and, and go again. There's, whoop, I, I think I was on the grass. You got to kind of turn it backwards and go again. This reel doesn't have any backwards slack in it, so it's just easier to flip the bale manually. I did bring a couple of extra batteries with me. I got some of those batteries from First Power. So just in case I have a busy day, I have more than one battery now. I've got a video on these. These things work really well. For the price, you can't complain. I'll throw that video in the description if anybody's made it to this point. I don't know how many fish I caught. I know I, I know I caught more than four. I think I caught more than six. I don't think I caught more than ten. Not sure. There's one. Oh, he got off. But I did see a little flash of silver, so there was officially a fish on there. But he doesn't count, does he? Nope. Oh, I found that chunk of concrete. I was afraid of that. Uh, let's see if I can... I don't know what it is. I just know it's in that area somewhere. Fish like it. My jig really likes it. Oh, it came loose. Probably not good on the point on that hook, though. I don't know what it is. I know it's not a piece of wood because I've gotten stuck on it several times. And I've not buried into it yet. So it must be a rock or concrete or something. Something other than wood. I know these guys are into crawfish because I hooked one really bad last time and took him home and did a had a meal and checked his stomach out and he was had crawfish in his stomach. Oops, more salad. It's a good thing I brought those first power batteries because I killed my first battery. There's one. Oh. I must have must have messed up my hook when I stuck into that concrete. Or whatever it is. And it's not very sharp. Blame it on the hook, right? I need to bring my kayak out of here. Anybody want to see a kayak fishing video? Oop, there's one. out. You done? You done enough? Okay. See their eyes are tilted down pretty far. See you later buddy. Man they're just all in there. A wonderful little crankbait would work. There's one. Hey, feels a little nicer. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. That's a little nicer fish. That's not a stalker. Come here, buddy. Definitely a nicer fish. Thank you, buddy. See you later. 
Yeah, I could even feel the head shakes on him. Oh, there's one. I wasn't looking. I think that's another better fish. It is another better fish. Come here, buddy. It's a bass. Who'd have thunk it? It's a little largemouth. Come here, buddy. Huh. Wasn't expecting that today. Get you back in the water. A little, uh, little largemouth. See you later, buddy. Well, as you can see, the gulp worms did pretty good. Uh, pretty happy with my little day fishing. Um, gonna work on a scupper cart. I've, I bought a scupper cart that doesn't fit my kayak, so I've got to do some modifications. If you like stuff like that, you might think about subscribing to the channel. That'll be coming up soon. I work six days a week, one day off, so eh, videos are not crammed together too tightly. But appreciate anybody that's still here. I'm going to throw a couple of videos up over here. I'll put the uh, link to the batteries that I'm using on my Ace Pro. Put a link to that down in the description. And uh, anybody that's still here, I appreciate it. Catch you guys later. Catch you in one of these videos. I'll catch you down the road.